So RMN is a very well-known method. Let's just take a look on the concept of it. So first you have your source database system. What you do in this system is you take a backup incremental level zero. With the incremental keyword here, you're gonna prepare this backup set to receive incremental level one backups on top of it. So after you take your level zero incremental backup, you move this backup to the target system and you restore the database backup there. Now that this backup is restoring the target system, you go back to your source system and you take another level one incremental backup this time. So now it's level one, not level zero anymore. And with a level one incremental backup, Oracle will only put in this backup set the blocks that changed since the latest level zero or the latest level one. It depends if you take a cumulative or a differential incremental backup. By default, Oracle will also take differential backup, meaning it's only gonna get the blocks changed since the latest level one. After taking this level one backup, you move it to the target environment and you recover the database there using this backup. So you keep taking those incremental level one backups in a loop and apply them on the target system. Finally, when it comes to the downtime, you stop your source environment, you put it in mount or read only mode, and you take a final level one incremental backup. You move it to the target environment and you recover that backup in the target system. Now, at this point in time, you have your source and target system at the exactly same point in time. Now, all you have to do is move your application and redirect the application connection to this new TART environment. So RMAN is simply and easy to use. It's a well-known process. RMAN was uh, released, if I'm not wrong, in Oracle 8i. So it, we have more than 20 years of RMAN already there. So it's pretty robust. It's already very stable. You can also use the existing backups. You don't need to take start this process from scratch. You can take the backups you already have and just move them to the target environment. All you're gonna need is to take the, the final level one incremental backup. It's also independent of file system or if you're using raw devices in, or ASM in the source or the target, it really doesn't matter. And you can also use it for some cross-platform capabilities like moving from Windows to Linux, okay?